If you play American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, sometimes you can find that you're in a rut. One way to get out of a rut is to do an exercise I call Charleston Force. This exercise forces you to play hands in categories that you may not normally think about. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. I have a strip for each category on the card. We're going to pick three and force hands. Like numbers. Winds and dragons. Two, four, six, eight. We'll just say we're the dealer. We'll get 14 random tiles and then build a mock Charleston. Two, four, six, eight, four, two. I think we should do two, four, six, eight. We only have two honors. Honors are wins and dragons. Let's get rid of those and the odds. Focus on two, four, six, eight. Don't worry about what suit they are or what numbers they are. Just gather every two, four, six, eight. So let's pick some tiles to pass. How about these three? There's a four and an eight. Uh oh. This dragon might come in handy. Two, four, six, eight dragon. Concealed hand under two, four, six, eight. I would not pass that. Let's go ahead and commit. Let's see here. Let's pass these three. Green! We can pass these three. One of each suit. No keepers. Let's pass these three. I don't like passing white dragons. They're very valuable. They can be used as a zero or a one. A one. They could be used as a zero or a dragon. If you get a joker, just exchange it. We got a keeper. Okay, now I try to pass these rarely, but we are set with this hand. We can pass those. Keeper. Okay, now two, four, six, eight, dragon. I think because we're so close, I would risk passing a flower. I don't think there's anything in here, but that's what I would do. I would risk it. Look how close we are. Two, we get two. There's a three and a one, two discards. Two, four, six, eight. That's a winner. Look at that. We got the pair, Pung. We just need to fill in here. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next force. Okay, we have like numbers or winds and dragons. We have one wind and then like numbers. Okay, so we have a pair of nines, nine, nine. Let's do nines. 
You know, winds and dragons or like numbers, we could maybe do north and south with nines. So let's try to pass one of each suit here. Eight, three, two, or seven. We'll put an odd in there. No keepers, but we did get joker bait. We can use that for joker bait maybe. Okay, let's pass an odd and an even with another even. There's a dragon, like numbers with dragons maybe. Let's pass these three. Oh, flower, we can keep that. That might help, like numbers. Let's keep joker bait and pass these. Flower. I think we could probably give up on the south at this point. Like numbers, maybe not the dragon because we've got the flower here. There's a red though. That might come in handy. We have tiles to pass. Okay, no keepers. And I would not pass like numbers probably. So I would probably at this point to leverage the flowers, give up the green and maybe pass these three for optional cross. We got that south back. Okay, this is pretty rough, but we could maybe play like numbers with nines. So I'd keep all the nines though, use this as joker bait, maybe discard these first. This is gonna take some work, but like numbers did come in. Now we need to force winds and dragons. Winds and Dragons, this is all we have to work with. This is gonna be a major force. Let's keep Joker Bait. Four, three, eight. Let's pass those three. We need Winds and Dragons. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we're gonna discard these. Let's mix this up a little. That way we're not left with like numbers. If you get a joker, just exchange it. Oh, to the rescue. We got a dragon. Okay, we're gonna discard. Let's see here. Let's keep joker bait. That's pretty risky, all consecutive. Oh, there's a dragon. And we have discards, we need to break that up. Let's pass those three. Evens with an odd. And one of each suit. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. I think we can give up one of the dragons. And let's see here. Pair of flowers, 
Kongs of Dragons with News. Let's discard these. Okay, we have discards. Six, one, half dozen, the other, as far as risk. I would not pass flower. Let's pass those three. We got news. Look at that. We have three discards here. I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll go through the motions. We got a red back. I'd keep it as an option. News with dragons. That might even be a winner. Force one and three were fantastic. Force two, not so much. But those two, force one and force three, could have been winners. That's kind of exciting. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. And the next time you play in a tournament or some special event where they have prizes, if you come home a winner, let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. You won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.